In this video, I'm going to talk about how to install and run Isilon 1FS virtualized simulator on a VMware ESXi host server. I'm currently running uh, version 5.5, .5, which I believe is the latest uh, version um, that is out currently. Uh, there's a few other things that you'll need uh, if you're going to try this at home. Uh, I will provide the details on how to actually download the, the image, which is I've got listed here. And again, I'll put that in the details of the blog post and or the description of the video. Uh, also, you will need to make sure you have running the VMware vCenter converter standalone because the image is in a workstation format and you'll need to convert that into a format that ESXi can run. Um, and so we'll, we'll show you that and we'll obviously load it up on the ESX server and make sure it's running. That's our goal for the day, so stay tuned and let's get started. Okay, so what I have running here is the VMware vCenter Converter Standalone. Uh, this is a standalone application, as the name implies, that will allow you to convert uh, VM images from one format to another. Uh, and so the first step is we're going to go to <coughs> Convert Machine, and it's going to open up a dialog box, which we're then going to uh, select Let's see, VMware Workstation or other VMware Virtual Machine, I believe is the proper selection for what we have to do. And then we're going to need to actually browse uh, for uh, the files. Now, I've actually already downloaded, and let me see, I think I put it in my temp file, EMC, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's the folder that it actually um, was downloaded to and you want to browse for the .vmx file in the VGA directory so obviously this VGA directory is what was uh, created for me and so this vmx file is the file that we're looking for just want to make a note you the the, the current image that gets downloaded for whatever reason has a bunch of uh, clone uh, subfolders I'm not really sure what those are, to be honest with you. Um, my understanding is that you just need to go directly for this VMX uh, file that's um, in the root of this VGA folder. So we're going to go ahead and select uh, Open, You're, and hopefully that will work appropriately for us. Now, once we've done that, we're going to continue with the wizard. Uh, so really just by clicking the Next button and it's looking and kind of retrieving some information about uh, the machine. Excellent. From here, you're going to need to enter in your server information. Uh, so this is your ESXi server host, or it's your uh, vCenter server, depending on how you got uh, things configured in your lab environment. Uh, my IP address is there, and I'm going to enter the username and then my password if I can type this correctly I'm typing okay hopefully I entered that all correctly we'll hit next and hopefully magic happens excellent so it's preparing to set up the system and um, here uh, we're asking for what you want to name this virtual server. I think for my purposes, I'm just going to go with Isilon. Uh, we'll put 1FS. Gives us a nice name that I can recognize on my system. And it's going into data center 1. And go next. And we're getting some information here about, um, obviously, the in my virtual data center, I have my ESXi host. Uh, and then it's also asking about, you know, if you want to change the data store. I do have two data stores. I'm actually going to put this on the second one. As you can see, there's a, a good bit more space uh, on that one. And so I don't think I need to put really anything else on their virtual machine version, I think is the latest, which is 10. Uh, so then I'm going to just uh, click next. And it is obviously preparing for the next steps. 
this screen is giving us the ability to edit some options. Um, I'm actually not going to edit anything here. I have my my virtual lab, if you will, set up very uh, pretty simple. And so I think I'm just going to keep things the way they are and click Next. And pretty much that is it for the configuration part. And now we're going to just click on finish. We can always go back into the virtual machine later and, and configure you know, additional uh, resources if we need to. So I'm really just for the purpose of this video kind of taking the defaults uh, to keep things uh, simplified. So I'll probably pause the video as it's uh, submitting the job. It may take a little bit of time uh, and then we'll, you know, I'll certainly come back to this on when we get to the next step. So the dialog box uh, did go away. It finished sort of preparing itself. And so now what we see in our VMware vCenter converter window is at the top, we see now a new task, which uh, at this point is actually doing the conversion and it's estimating the amount of time that it's going to take, which it looks like it's actually going to take about an hour to do so. Uh, so again, what I'm going to do is pause the video and we'll come back when uh, when we're done and we'll kind of see what things look like uh, once this conversion is complete. Okay, welcome back. I actually had the video paused. Uh, it did not take a full hour. It actually um, ended up taking really only about five minutes or so. I think it just was using doing some calculation and so uh, once I paused the video the the actual um, task uh, was complete. So as you can see from this window um, we're actually all done and so it is deployed. So next step, we'll, we'll go take a look and uh, just make sure that uh, within our vCenter uh, console that we can see everything is uh, looking like it's working properly. Okay, so we are now in my vCenter uh, vSphere client and I'm looking at my virtual data center here of my ESXi host and under my ESXi host, uh, as you can see, I currently have running my VMware vCenter server appliance, uh, which is really managing, if you will, uh, my data center. But now, now we also see my new Isilon 1FS uh, virtual server. And I've clicked on that, and we're really uh, just looking kind of at the, the summary information and look at the different tabs. Um, and so with that, you can sort of see it is currently not running. It is powered off, uh, have not powered it on yet. Uh, just looking at see what the provision storage looked like. We had selected our data store, my data store too, just using my standard VM network. Um, the resource uh, allocation, since it's not running, it's not really showing me uh, which uh, CPU and memory is actually being consumed. So obviously performance is not going to really load anything relevant to this uh, virtual server uh, alarms console. But we could go to the console, but again, the console is going to be blank because we haven't started it yet. I uh, did want to go look at storage views. Yep, I don't think anything's really going to be there. Um, since it's not actual, actually running. So at the moment, uh, until we power it on, it looks like everything uh, did work out as as uh, as planned. So we will uh, kind of pause here, and then uh, we'll look into go ahead and starting this up. Make sure it boots up. 